Yep, you read it right. It wasn't a misprint and it's not clickbait. I do actually take a thousand milligrams of melatonin every single day. Sounds crazy, right? To be taking over 300 times the average three milligram nightly dosage in a single day. But maybe not after you hear my reasons because they're actually based on the latest research studies from the rather brilliant research scientist and leading melatonin expert, Doris Lowe. As a result of her groundbreaking melatonin dosing protocols, my personal health and well-being have reached new highs. I sleep better, I look better, I function better, and at age 64, I've regained the daytime energy levels of my younger self. Not only that, the protection that high dose melatonin may offer with regard to preventing cancer and dementia in later life might possibly be unmatched. For those of you who don't know me, I've been writing and consulting on a subject of human life extension for over three decades now. And it was in the course of my daily research that I stumbled across several interesting studies led by Doris Lowe and fellow world-renowned melatonin expert, Russell J. Reiter. The studies involved using high-dose melatonin in the treatment and prevention of cancer and Alzheimer's in lab animals. And the results were astonishing, with extremely positive outcomes and zero side effects. So we're now going to take a look at the basic mode of action that allows melatonin to exert those highly desirable effects across all species, including humans. Natural melatonin levels decline with age. And here's a chart that maps that decline. However, with our use of extremely high dosages, we're seeking to address far more than just this one issue. High dose melatonin is intended to regulate a complex process known as phase separation, which in turn regulates all fundamental biological processes in the body, including gene transcription, autophagy, and immune regulation. The studies also show that melatonin, when taken at sufficiently high dosages, dramatically improves the functioning of our mitochondria, resulting in significant increases in ATP production and therefore increased energy levels. I want to keep this presentation relatively short, so I've provided a link in the video description to a highly technical podcast where Doris explains in detail how high dose melatonin affects phase separation and what takes place in the body as a result. I guarantee this information will grab your attention and will more than whet your appetite to learn all you can about this amazing hormone. For now, however, I'm simply going to reveal some little known melatonin facts and misconceptions. Following that, Doris herself will reveal her personal dosing protocol. It's a common misconception that melatonin makes you sleepy. The reality is that it's not a soporific and it can be taken daytime without adverse effect, which is important since the relatively high dosages we're discussing here are required to be split throughout the day. It's also important to understand that there's no negative feedback loop with melatonin at any dose, which means it cannot interfere with your body's natural melatonin production. Now for melatonin to effectively aid in the sleep process, all light sources need to be removed. Though there are two exceptions, and that's moonlight and red light, both of which are fine and will still allow melatonin to work its nighttime magic. Most people think that glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant made by our body. This is actually incorrect. Melatonin is in fact a significantly more powerful and efficient antioxidant and pushes glutathione into second place, which helps explain why melatonin is considered to be a master regulator of inflammation. It's also commonly believed that melatonin is only produced in the pineal gland, whereas in reality, around 400 times more is produced in our gut. Interestingly, oral ingestion of melatonin suppresses our bad gut bacteria while proliferating the good bacteria, which can only be a good thing. Unfounded warnings on the dangers of melatonin are often pushed by health influencers who have failed to dig deep enough into the research and are quite simply regurgitating the same words spewed out by a multitude of carbon copy health news outlets. Melatonin has in fact been proven to be totally non-toxic to cells. And as I already mentioned, it will have no effect on your body's natural production at any dose. Now there's some credible data that melatonin supplements should be avoided before reaching puberty. However, in adults, there are no dangers other than contraindications with certain medications. So always check with your doctor first if you're unsure. Regarding any minor side effects, morning grogginess can be an issue for some. However, as Doris Lowe will explain later in the presentation, this is usually as a result of pre-existing mitochondrial dysfunction, which is actually often overcome by increasing the melatonin dosage. 
Another commonly reported minor side effect is more lucid dreaming. And this is certainly something that I experience every night now. In my case, it's almost like taking part in a different movie every night. It feels very, very real. And the storylines can be extremely complex and imaginative. It almost seems like some dormant part of my brain's been unlocked. And I have to admit, I now really look forward to my dreams. The high dose protocols that I'm going to outline shortly are aimed at mature adults and are intended to improve mitochondrial function and to prevent cancer and dementia. However, there's also several other benefits that melatonin provides at any dose, high or low, and these include the following. I already mentioned that melatonin suppresses bad gut bacteria while simultaneously proliferating the good bacteria, and this can benefit a range of gut issues. Now, as well as holding the title of the body's most powerful antioxidant, melatonin easily crosses the blood-brain barrier, where it effectively helps to detoxify the brain from heavy metals. Melatonin has also been found to help prevent macular degeneration, and in higher doses can prevent osteoporosis and cardiovascular disease. Then of course there's the reason why most people take melatonin, and that's to improve sleep quality. And to that end, it works extremely well, especially in older adults. I currently take 1000 milligrams, one gram, of pure melatonin powder daily, taken in split doses. I take 500 milligrams before bed, and two doses of 250 milligrams spread over the afternoon and early evening. Now in no way is this a recommendation to copy my dosage. I'm simply telling you what has worked well for me. Although I should point out that where high dose melatonin is concerned, my dosage is actually very conservative. For comparison, here's a short clip of Doris Lowe revealing her own personal dosing regimen. Okay, I don't measure my melatonin. And I take it, I take certain amounts at specific times, but I will take more if I find it necessary. Let's say if I'm tired. Now, people say that if you take melatonin, it makes you sleepy, then that's not true. If you're mitochondria where you take melatonin, it gives you a lot of energy. It's an energy booster. So I have like a jar of melatonin and a little spoon and I will just take a little scoop and just put it in my tongue whenever I feel like it. And that's all. Uh, but to answer your question, I would say I take between, I take at least 2,000 milligrams, sometimes more, 3,000. Yeah. But I don't count. Next, we have a short clip of Doris responding to a question regarding the most effective melatonin dosage to prevent cancer and dementia in healthy individuals. Her response relates to the average 50-year-old in good health with no mitochondrial issues who consumes a balanced diet and regularly gets at least seven hours of sleep. So to answer your question, I will have to make some assumptions. So I assume that the person is about 50 years old and you want to prevent neurodegeneration and cancer. I would take at least 180 milligrams per night and I would increase it by 100 milligrams every year as you age. And that's how I would do it. Finally, Doris was asked a question by the podcast host regarding issues with extreme morning grogginess following elevated dosages. Her response may surprise you. But I wake up absolutely uh, less energized, just groggy, you know, and so I've been able to just use a low dose of like five milligrams and it usually is great for me. Now, Monica, my wife can take you know, 10 times that dose and have no issue whatsoever. Now, granted, we're not taking powder, um, you know, in the way that you recommend it. We're just taking like a, you know, a doctor's formulated uh, version mm -hmm. of melatonin. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. is, I guess the last question, and then we'll let everybody go is, uh, you know, for people that are like that, and, and I wouldn't call us non-responders, but just can't handle the higher doses of melatonin, is that due to a polymorphism you think, or is it, it's just not taking it or dosing it correctly? Or what do you think the reason for that is? People who have difficulty with sleep usually have issues with their mitochondria because sleep is not affected by melatonin per se, yeah. but more affected by the balance between ATP and ADP. So if you find yourself waking up at a lower dose of melatonin, I suggest you try 
250 milligrams tonight and see if you sleep through because well, see, um, I don't have a problem sleeping. I mean, I sleep uh -huh. like a baby on it. Okay. It's just the more, the higher the dose that I take. What is the highest you've ever taken? Uh, I think the highest, I think probably is 50, uh, nothing compared to what you guys are recommending, but like 50 milligrams probably. Yeah, that's like nothing. Uh, you, you need to try a dose like 200, 300 sure. and, and sure. see if you wake up energized because um, okay, as, soon as, I, as soon as I wake up, it's like I'm ready to go. I'm on rocket yeah. fuel, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And my wife is like that too. And uh, I, I will do that actually. I will do that on Friday night though, because tonight I got to get up. I got to wake up early for a plane flight. If this presentation has sparked your interest in high dose melatonin, then my job is done here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And as always, take care, be healthy and see you again soon.